Hello everybody and welcome back to Sev Tech Ages. How are you doing today? I hope you are doing well. I am. Um, so I don't know if the last video is going to be posted or not. Uh, it was, there was a lot of derp. It didn't come out real well. Um, so, but we didn't get a whole lot done. We made the blood altar. which is demonic wheel bronze ingot and furnace and to get the demonic wheel we need these snares which is tin string and ash ash is made in the furnace with wood uh, we done that and we made the necronomicon this thing right here not really that hard for us to get. We already had plenty of this plagued flesh, Growlian plagued flesh. Uh, our hiccup was needing to get this trophy. We only needed to get one. Uh, I was looking for a Slogoth layer, and I spent probably five hours yesterday finding one. Matter of fact, pull up our atlas. Uh, I have gone way off out in this direction, which is that way. I went way off that way. Uh, you can see it's, it doesn't look that far on the map, but that's quite a distance. Uh, there's one right here close to where they're at, uh, but it was already spent. Uh, I went way out this way, didn't find anything. There's a lot of dark lands around here, though. Uh, then finally went way out this way, and there's one I'm wanting to say over here-ish. And that's about, I don't know, 2,000 blocks away, something like that. And I had a terrible time. I was trying to get them out. It's not a very good place to do any of that because uh, it's right on the water, and then next to the water is a great big mountain. So I just kind of dug a hill. Or dug a, or not dug, but uh, covered the entrance up and just killed them. Uh, because we can actually make these statues. All you need is the flesh. So I killed a bunch of them and got our statue. Our statue is down here. Word of advice, do not put this thing anywhere near your house. Uh, it will charge our Necronomicon. I don't have it on me. It's there but as it is charging this thing will cause bad stuff to happen uh, you'll get struck by lightning it'll cause the Corallium plague and as you can see all of our animals are gone I originally had it set up over here I had to go out and get a new horse our cows that were down here are gone the buffalo's gone everything around here died including me uh, we've also got the pedest ritual thing set up for it. Basically, you just place this stuff in this, like this. It's a piece of cobblestone here, and then two away, one away, two away, one away, two away, one away, and two away. And you right-click the middle piece of cobblestone with the Necronomicon, and it turns it into this. So, pretty neat. We're going to be using that today. Today we are going to try to get to the beneath. We're going to see about getting this energy pedestal done. And if we can have time to do it, we might go ahead and do the jungle. So, but first things first. I, in order to get the portal, we need to learn how to spell it. We need monolith stone, which I've got. We need another demonic wheel, which is not hard to get. Uh, looks like dark oak fence gate. That may be where our issue lies. Gunpowder. I don't know if we can use just any kind of fence gate. Uh, coal dust. That's easy enough for us to do. But then we need this blank teleporter, uh, which is where the fun stuff is going to get. Corallium pearl is not hard to do. We've already got one. I've got to make another one. 
Um, basically, it's this with some stone, which I've got over here. And boom, we've got that. We can place that in here. I don't know if that'll be enough to smelt it down or not, but we will see. And that will give us the pearl. The biggest issue is going to be right now is going to get the tin, the block, and the bron or well, the the copper and the tin in order to make this. That's why I decided to go ahead and bring you all with me. I realized in the episode where we went and done some mining that you really couldn't see. So I'm going to go back over here to where all of our stuff is and then I will bring you guys back. I always hit the wrong button. Anyways, we're back. We're going to go down here in our little hole. I brought some torches along with us so you all could see this. So this is how the ores spawn. And I don't know why it does that. I I have been doing some reading in the issue page. It seems to be an issue that is server only. But, you know, we do what we can. It breaks. There's a lot of tin. Oh. I didn't see that. That should be enough to keep anything from coming and getting us. So I'm going to grab us a handful of this, grab us a handful of copper from our other spot there, and then I will be back. All right, we are back. I have got a bunch of tin, a bunch of copper. I've got our blocks that we need in order to make this teleporter. The only other thing we need now is the Apprentice Blood Orb, which we need a Tier 2 Altar, and a Corallium Pearl, which we need to do the Tier 1 Altar, which we've already got, but we need to get uh, these Blank Ruins. Blank Ruins, we need the Weak Blood Orb. Uh, and we had talked about it last episode this thing diamond we can't do and then the coagulated blood and I had a brain fart I said we needed to get the other ones so we could hop in it and get it we actually don't all we needed was some zombie flesh I've got this made um, I went out and hunted a bunch of zombies. You can put zombie flesh in here. It gives you about 40 uh, millibuckets um, per piece of flesh. So that's a lot. Um, so got that. We can break that down into that. And now we have our blood for this. Now I should have... Oh, by the way, you'll notice our door has changed here. Um, last episode-ish... Or no, right before I got on today to do this, uh, I've updated the pack. And got on, come in, come out my door, and creeper blew up and blew this whole area up. So I decided to fancy the door up just a little bit. So I am not sure how much this has in it. It's not going to tell us. 
All right, we are back. Sorry about that. I had a little bit of a crash. Um, so we are going to work on making our apprentice blood orb. But before we do that, we are going to do us some work here. I want to get our totemic out. We want to see what we can do here Hmm. I don't see anything that's actually going to help us. Maybe a cow? Ah. Dang it. Wait, what is the buffalo? I didn't see that one. Makes you mind faster. Okay, so we want to try the cow. I was hoping there'd be one with resistance or uh, regeneration. We put that in there. This should give us our tier one blood orb. And we're going to need a bunch of food to get through all this. There we go. And we right click it and bind it to ourselves. So there we go. So now we need to get these blank runes. I've got to make a bunch of these blank slates. We need 18 of these uh, because we need, no, excuse me, we need 8. So we need 16 slates. So yeah, I've got a little bit of work ahead of me here. But we got to do this in order to get to our next step. So, that is what I'm going to spend my time working on. So when I get those done, I will be back. Alright, we are back. I have gotten everything that we needed together um, we've got blank slates we've got stone we're going to make us something first uh, I just put my piece of wood away I have completely run out of food that I had cooked so we're in the process of getting some more stuff cooked up I uh, know I don't want to waste the Having that's nice, but using this, even though you can't use as much, put as much stuff in it, is great. Let's get rid of that for a minute. I need to get a pile of ash. We are going to make us something first, before we get into the rest of our stuff. Go ahead and put that back on there. All right. And it's nighttime. All right, so the, I want to make a divination sigil. So we should be able. How do we do this? Oh, we need to make arcane ashes, which is made in the Hellfire Forge. So we can't do that yet. Well, there went that. So, that's alright. 
we are going to make our ruins. I was hoping to do that. I don't have the stuff to do that right yet. Or do I? Well, I don't have any wheels, which we got to go get some, but I need what I need for uh, yeah, for what we've got going on. So there is five. We are now out of stone. So, I've got to get some more cobblestone cooking. Unless we can use like that. And I don't think we can. No. We can use diorite, andersite, all that stuff. So, I need to get us some more stone going. So I will be back. All right, we are back. We got our ruins. Should be able to do this. We don't need one underneath it. That should give us a tier one our tier 2 altar. So I should be able to fill this thing up. And it looks like it's full. If I had... We're going to try this once. If this don't work, then we'll go get us a divination sigil. It's an awful lot of work for one block. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Tier 2 Blood Orb. Now we should have about everything we need to make this portal block. Corallium pearl block of coal. I don't have any coal. Let's get this. We want our atlas. Alright, I'm going to go see about getting some coal. We don't have, I got one piece. Got charcoal, but that's all we got. So I'm going to go do some digging and searching and hunting and then I will be back. Alright, we are back home. From our little venture. I have got. I managed to get two stacks of coal. And still left. Some in. Uh, in our vein that we were mining from. Oh. How do we got to do this? With the press. Come on.
there's one and that should give us number two and that should be everything we need for this at least that part of it So I put most of this stuff back here before I took off. Bronze, copper, that. One of those. We need those. We need our Corallium Pearl. That should be everything. It's going to be one of these recipes. I got those backwards. All right, so there is our blank teleporter. Now we need monolith stone. We need a piece of coal dust, which I'm going to assume we're going to get from here. And we need a piece of gunpowder, which we should have plenty of gunpowder floating around here. There's a piece right there. All right. Now here comes the fun part. Teleporter in there. I'm going to assume we've probably got to do this in some kind of order. that there we'll put the gunpowder on this side four monolith stones wait is that right that doesn't go we need dark oak fence that's where we I don't have any dark oak all right we are back home I have got some dark oak and boy let me tell you what we had to go up here to get it it was quite the journey but we got some I got some saplings I got some hemp seeds that I didn't know about so let us get on with what we need to do here did that really just give us one Okay, no, he gave us two. I don't know why I did it twice. And we should be able to make dark oak fence. And it's one, two, three, four. It's one, two, three. We're missing one. All right, so now all we're missing is the demonic wheel. And we're going to have to wait till nighttime for that unless I can find something. Let's go down here and get our snares 
And I will see what I can't come up with. All right. We have our victim, a karate zombie. And we got a wheel. I have no idea what that red stuff floating around is, but let's get out of here before anything else decides to come bother us. All right, we're back home. We've got our last piece. Let's do this thing. Now, you need to have a thousand, at least a thousand PE in your Necronomicon. That's what charging it up over there would do. And, as far as I know, Nope. Shift right click. There we go. I'm hoping this doesn't do anything bad. And there we go. We've got our beneath teleporter. So. What do we need to do here? We need to place it and enter it. Um, this looks like a good spot right here. Because I don't think we want to pick this up and move it. Because I think it's that's broken. So, here we are in the beneath. We need to search the top of the caves for aquamarine ore. Now, I don't know exactly where that's going to be at. But I do know, as usual, oh. Looks like there is an up and a down. So I am looking for aquamarine. So let me see if I can find it and then I will be back. So after about two hours, I have finally found it. Oh my gosh, it took forever. So we have got what we needed in this place for now. Let's get out of here. That gave us a couple of them. I don't know how many we're going to need. Oh, I see some more between here and there. That I just walked right past. I see you there, zombie. So we're not too far from where I come in at, sort of. Actually, we don't have to go this way. Our whole home is right here. So we're going to head back home, see what we got left to do today. And then I will be back. Well, that kind of looks like that's going to be where we're going to end this. Uh, we need washi in order to make a knitted screen. We can't do that. Uh, we need mulberry sheets, which is mulberry pulp, which is from soaked mulberry bark, which comes from mulberry bark which we need mulberry and I have yet to find a mulberry tree 
So without dragging this thing on any farther than what it is, uh, wait. We'll see if they've got one yet. Um, it's something that I'm going to have to just go out and search for. Ah, there went that idea. So, with that, we got to the beneath. I was hoping to get to... Let's see what we need for our Astral Sorcery book. That's not bad. We got everything we need. So I will probably go ahead and go through all of that. We'll get to the crafting table. We'll have to get some more aquamarines for that. But I think the luminous crafting table is where this is going to end. This right here is going to be where we get into automating a lot of our stuff. We might work on that here pretty soon. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!